Vroom! Hello and welcome to the introduction for Podcast But Outside, episode 191. We recorded this at a an car. exotic car meetup. The people who spent a lot of money on their cars, we talked to them about the lifestyle, how they got into car stuff, and most importantly about this episode, Cole isn't even there. Oh, I'm not? No, Cole was busy out of town or something. So I recorded this with Moshe Kasher, past guest of the show. He's done many episodes before. He has the great Endless Honeymoon podcast that he does with his wife, Natasha Legero, where they give relationship advice. Check that out if you haven't. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. The lights are off, everything is quiet, you're ready to sleep, but your racing thoughts are keeping you awake. Sound familiar? If your thoughts won't give you a rest, it might be time to talk through them in therapy. Visit betterhelp.com outside to give it a try. <sighs> Yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was hot, it was cars, everything was actually pretty good. And now you're back, Cole. Did you have fun watching it without you? No. What do you think was missing without you being there? Me! And how did that change the dynamic? Bad. Really? But it's a good episode, right? No. Come on. No. Really? Mm-hmm. Why? It sucks. It sucks? I'm not there. So do you think every podcast, movie, sh and TV show is bad because you're not in it? Absolutely. So you give pretty much like any movie a one star. Like a if you follow me on Letterboxd, you'll oh, see that. It's all one star. I'm yeah. not in this. <laughs> one star Would be better me. with me. Actually, New York's about to get a lot better in October because oh. I'm about to be there. We're going to be coming to New York October 23rd at the Bell House. Tickets are available for that show. Every New York show we've ever done has sold out. Our live show is so, so fun. We're going to have two special guests join us. One of them will probably be Sarah Sherman slash Sarah Squirm from SNL. As long as the strike is still happening, SNL is not recording. And then we're getting another special guest as well. Um, she's not fully confirmed, but she'll probably be there as long as, you know. So we're trying to keep the strike going. Please. So she can be there. I'll be in Pittsburgh on October 5th at Bottle Rocket. Tickets are $20. That, that'll sell out. It's a small venue. Go to podcastbetoutside.com slash live for those. Our run at UCB is done. Our, our, week, our monthly show at UCB, we've done it for, I don't know, the whole year. We're Six done. months? Six months. It was so, great. That's a whole year. They Thanks were really for fun. coming last night. Thank you for coming to all those live shows. They were all really fantastic. We'll do more LA shows in the future, but for now we need a break from those. Yeah, this is a great episode. If you're not familiar with Moshe's podcast, go check it out. There's a lot of interviews from this episode that are on Patreon, correct? Yeah, we interviewed a lot of car people. Car people love to chat. Support us on Patreon, helps out the show, and you get to watch extra bonus stuff. Themey songy this week is by Lillian Tadone, one of the OGs who sent in a theme song when we first started the show. One of our favorites. Wow, glad to reuse it. Thanks for watching or listening. Enjoy the episode. Tell your friends about Cole. Let him know. Hello and welcome to Pod podcast po podcast but, but outside. outside yes perfect yeah this is the world's first podcast my name is andrew michon and i got a special guest co-host here oh yeah it's introduce me. yourself hi it's moshe kasher here past and guest of the show been on a few episodes cole couldn't make it today oh it's hot actually today y yeah it is hot it's just a little bit do you mind if i but you can do whatever you'd want oh, okay because i just i just i don't know if i can deal with the kind of oh. <sighs> oh there we go <laughs> it's Gamosha is wearing a shirt that says new permanent co-host. Yeah, I took uh, it's kind of cool. Um huh. Cole <laughs> Cole has long covid no, and he uh, yeah, he does. And so uh Andrew asked me and Cole, I guess respectful, he's incapable of asking, but <laughs> I uh I just I guess I'm I'm now the permanent co-host and that's I, such an honor. Interesting. It's, yeah, it's I mean It's so cool cuz I thought of this concept for the show in the first place. No, Cole did actually. So to be able to act, I to be able to take over the thing that I started. Actually, that's a good point. We we, st we start the show introducing the concept. What is the concept for the show? Concept of the show that I'm the permanent co-host of. Can you read it by the way? Is it reading? Yeah. I mean, I just want to make sure it doesn't yeah, seem wrinkled. Yeah, it says new I mean. permanent co-host. Yeah, all right. I mean, um Concept for the show: We do a podcast. Uh, me and my me and my um, assistant uh, Andrew Michon. I'm now the assistant. Is kind of, was there like a second? There's a secondary co-host kind of a thing. No, it like was primary and second. It's pretty equal footing usually. Well, that's gonna change. Okay. Uh, we set out set up our podcast, but it's not just any podcast. Uh -huh. It's outside. Okay. We pay our guests merely a dollar. Yeah. Um, and I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Sure. Yeah. It's oh, just uh, inflation and stuff. I think maybe kind of up I, in that a bit. I get that. I get that. Um, and what's the point of the show? Like, who, who are we paying a dollar to? Uh, uh, different people that are walking by. 
Oh, just like in the public world, just random people? Well, is there a part of this show that I'm missing? Is no, I'm just trying to uh, make sure you, you get it before, uh, before you step in as permanent co host. Well, I want to make sure you get it. We get our co- comedic friends and family uh-huh. to come by, people like John Hamm, uh-huh. people like Toby Maguire. I wish. To come by, and uh, all, the, all the people that have played Su- Spider Man. <laughs> And come on by, go uh, submit to an interview, get paid a dollar, and um, today we're here at, at um, a car show. A car show. A kind of an independent street car Indep- vibe show. Independent street car. Indica- independent street indie street cars. Like aren't all, are, are, are all cars street cars? <laughs> um, no, I would say that some cars are not street cars. Uh, my car is not street legal, but I still drive that thing. I also, in addition to co-hosting this podcast, wrote uh, the play. Streetcar named Desire. Oh, that's a good play. Yeah, that's, that's that was one of my originals. That's really good. The whole point of the show is for us to just set up this table on the sidewalk, interview random strangers who have to be walking by. We have a sign on our table that says, "Hi, please be a guest on our podcast. We'll pay you one dollar." Smiley face. We pay all our guests, and yeah, we just like to talk to random strangers. And uh, Moshe is here to help us do that today. And as we were talking about, we're at an indie car show. We got a DM from a guy who runs a, an Instagram account called Cars in the Wild. He drove into your DMs. He drove into yeah, our DMs. He parked in your DMs. <laughs> he actually does respond to every D, every DM that we send. You know how you can do like a heart? Mm-hmm. His is like a checkered flag. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he responds with My, You know, mine's a mic. It's an old-timey mic because I do stand-up. Oh, you do stand-up. So yeah. you're like I'm like, just so you know, I'm a mic master. <laughs> I'm a mic master. Yep. Yeah, and so he's just putting together this event today of all the, I think all the cars that he's spotted in the wild, he's inviting them out and he's going to talk to some some, some car enthusiasts about car culture, which I don't know much about. Um, about you have had a, you've owned a cool car in the past. I've had a cool car. I, um, I, I, I had a 1991 um, Toyota Camry. No, no. You had a really cool car. I like had that. a Corvette. I did. I had a, a 91 Corvette that I it purchased. It was shortly lived. It was a couple years, yeah? I, well, then I had a child, and I thought, I thought there's no point in having a Corvette and a baby. It's kind of like give, oh, it, give it up the ghost. Oh, it was one or the other. Yeah. Interesting. That, mean, that was the clear reason why you got rid of it. Yeah. I, mean, I can't put... There was no backseat. Couldn't put her in the backseat. And who am I trying to impress over here? But isn't the Corvette for when you're running away from your family anyway? I guess so. It was definitely a midlife crisis <laughs> mobile, but I got a DJ set up right after I got rid of the Corvette, so it's kind of the same thing. Did it hold its value? Did you sell it for like around what you paid for it actually interesting uh point i i uh i bought it for six thousand oh, dollars oh it was that cheap they're cheap they're like the miami vice kind of like that classic era but they're not apparently these guys will tell you more than me they're not the 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 most uh, uh mechanically aggressive so it, it was a lot of upkeep is the issue that's why they're cheap yeah so i got it for six thousand dollars the guy that bought it for me the only thing i had to do was deal with him making like racist jokes the whole time i took it for a test drive <laughs> Okay. You ever in that situation where somebody's making like racist jokes, but They're you like, have well, to <laughs> you have to purchase the thing, so you don't want to be like, dude, fuck you. So you're like, <laughs> I want to buy the car, right? And that's why he thinks it's okay to make those jokes because he constantly only makes them in situations where, where the person is differential yes. to him. Yeah, and then and then he, I remember he uh, kept texting me after I bought the car, asking me if I wanted to hang out. Oh my god! He, he was like a 60 year old man, and he said, I know a lot of cool spots in L. A. <laughs> <laughs> So I had the car for like two and a half years, and it was really, it gave me back problems because it yeah. has like a cockpit seat. I rode in it. It was fun, but it was, yeah, it was, it was impractical. And then I sold it for $6,000 to a guy from Australia who comes here every year, buys a car in Los Angeles, and drives it cross country to New York, and then imports it back to Australia. And can you give me some of the racist jokes you made to him during your interaction with that guy? I would love to. <laughs> yeah, I would love you to. You were just going crazy. Okay, yeah, that's kind of how you have to sell that car. I, it was a lot of very specific stuff, though. <laughs> About Australia. Just yeah, about different <laughs> ethnic groups okay. in Australia. Different <laughs> ethnic groups of white people in white Australia. People, right, yeah. right, right, right. Cool. Well, great. Okay, so you, you get the car culture, um, and I get racism. That is, hey, I'm glad that you understand it. Um, and I, I, I owned a cool car at one point in my life. I owned a uh, Volkswagen Corrado. Well, hold on a sec. Can we get an expert's opinion here? No, they're cool. Here, come here. We'll, we'll talk to the guy. I'll talk to the. No, it's like in that realm. I'll, t- I'll tell you what I mean by that. Um, we got the creator of Cars in the Wild. Um, you can grab that mic and introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Sean. I am the creator of Cars in the Wild. It's an automotive educational platform. We help tell the stories of people who make Southern California automotive culture possible. Do you grow up? Do you grow up here? Yes, I grew up in uh, Southern California. Do you think that's why you're into cars? I absolutely think that's why I'm into cars. Living in Southern California, being um, around car culture is inevitable. Mm. So whether you are into it or not, you're going to spend a lot of time in a car. And um, I think that proximity is going to eventually lead to some curiosity. But you're into specifically cool cars. I mean, that's a that's a specific thing. You could be in a Camry and not really care about cars. 
I would say everything across the board that I'm into, I try to be into, you know what I mean, the cool... The cool version of that. Oh, thing. cool. Ver- you like cool chicks? Of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cool. I love cool chicks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, would your wife is cool. I like her, yeah. Would you say... Hey, 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 let's not mention She's her. great. No, I'm the permanent <laughs> co-host of the podcast, but outside. And you're I'm single, single on the baby. show. <laughs> yeah, single. Uh, would you say what would you say is cooler, a Corvette Look, or I didn't a Volkswagen? S- I didn't say my car was cooler, but have you heard? You know Corrado, right? I don't. Oh, you don't even know. <laughs> These are cool cars. What do you drive? I drive a uh, Mitsubishi Lancer. Oh, those are cool. That's very cool. That's ha- very cool. Ha- I like that a lot. It has a lot of personality. Yes. It kind of reminds me of like a 90s JDM. Yeah. I like It, it kind of seems like a... Poor like man's a, like, well, just a Porsche for scum. For scum. Um, okay, so you tell car stories, and then um, what do you, like, you created this event, people well, are out the here? The interesting thing is that cars can't really tell a story. You sure. have to speak to the driver. Oh, what's your name? Cyril. Cyril, yeah. how you doing? Good, man. What's your car? I have the uh, 1988 BMW E30 right there. Uh, the red drop top. The red oh, drop top, okay. Oh. We got to get it. We got to get a shot of this okay. car real quick, yeah. It's, it's a red, the red drop top down there? Yeah. Yeah, tell us about it as, as we see it. Um, I think to the right, Kamani. No, 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 no. Right? Is it? That? Yeah. Oh, it is that one. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. Sorry, I see a red car back there. I couldn't oh, what a Corvette. Cool. You're good. You're good. Corvette. That's, that's a Corvette. A kind of, no, car I, just, I used to drive. All I see that's is the. My car. Oh yeah. All okay. I see is the color red. I can't see anything else. Oh, okay. Oh, you have car blindness? No, it's just there's a car in front of it for me. It's clearly a Corvette. As a former Corvette driver, <laughs> it's just I know red. That. Yeah. Okay. So, how long have you been a car guy? I've always wanted that car since I was like a kid. Really? Yeah. But you're but young. How old do I look? Uh, you look like 25. Yeah. How? Oh no. 26? 28? 20, 23. 24. 20, 20, 23? 24. 22? Wait, he we'll just said 24. We won't talk about my age. We won't talk about my age. And then I said 23. You said up. You're 23 and a you, half? One, one of the numbers was right. <laughs> <laughs> You're in your 20s. You are still a kid. Okay. But um, that's not from your era. That's not your childhood. Right. Well, how did you get so seduced by a car from I your love dad's era? paid in full. Uh-huh. Mm. uh-huh. Money making Mitch had a drop top. E30 and like ever since I seen that movie I was like yo so it's interesting interesting so you're it's actually a nostalgia for a time you weren't in you didn't you didn't say my age right <laughs> <laughs> I said up down up I'm 30 years old okay, 30, okay. yeah okay but so it's kind of it's kind of my era yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah I was young sure sure but and what's your dream car my dream car is the M version of that car. Oh right, there's the only 777 produced, I believe, something like that. 700 produced. How Damn. much? How much? How much is an M version hitting for? 150 thousand dollars. Holy shit! You know what? <laughs> it's a unicorn. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Today's your lucky day. There's 150 sing- thousand singles here. But what did it feel like when you got that car? At least so when I first when I first got it, time. I was just like, dang, this is so dope. Like having an older car and driving it, and like. Feeling every bump in the road, and you like that. It's just like a, it's just a different feel, you know what I mean? You can't really compare it, especially E30. Mm. They call it a uh, God's chariot. <laughs> <laughs> they got good names for cars. The they call it for <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God's chariot. Yeah, you God's do a, chariot. We should do a quiz at the end. Name what these cars, what these uh, things refer to. Yeah, have God's you heard chariot. of the Porsche uh, of the VW? What's C- it called? Corrado. Corrado. You ever heard of a VW no. Corrado? No. Mm-hmm. Look, okay. I'm not saying they're that cool, but they're kind of cool. It's co- well, they refer to it as the rich man's Camry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so there you go. So, okay, so you got you got your E330. Thir- E30. 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 Yeah. And did that just feel like a really proud moment for you? Had you worked really hard to get it? I actually got that car for $3,600. Whoa, how? So I, so I got it with extra money that I had, but it didn't look like that when I got oh, it. Oh, you put a lot of work a into lot it. A lot of work into it. A lot of a lot of trial and error. Huh. It's, just, it's just been a journey. You get what I'm saying? Like, huh. it's been a journey. All these, all these dudes, I'm pretty sure none of their cars look like this when they got it. Of course, yeah. Is that yeah. something you would look down on if I pulled in with like a cherry people, perfect vehicle? People and I was do like, look down on that like when you buy someone else's build. Mm. But like I don't care. You get what mm. I'm saying? But like if the build was popular in whatever community that you were in and you buy someone's build straight outright, it's kind of cheating. Interesting. You, know what I mean? you got to work towards you it. You got to work towards it. Or like you have to put your touches on it. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. Is the car really yours? Mm. If you buy it off the lot, I get it. You pay the dealership, that's your car. Right. But if you bought someone's car that they worked 10, 15 years to build and just buy it from them straight outright, it's just like... Hmm. It's like when it's you sleep with someone's wife and they've done, they've had like extensive plastic surgery. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, now, you, now you're stepping in? That the husband paid for? Yeah, the husband paid for. Yeah, it's like, oh, exactly. I, I'm interested now. I don't care. I, if you buy the car, it's your car or whatever. But it's just like a lot of people do look down on that, especially have you, depending have you, on it. Have you ever had someone like in your crew who did that? 
There's a lot of people that do it. Who just walk up and you're like, he's like, I got a new car. You're like, okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people do it. They have a term for people like that? No, there's no term for it. You should come up with a term for people (laughs) like that. Yeah, that's kind of a good idea. Uh, Chariot jackers. Yeah. (laughs) Chariot jackers. Something like that. I mean, kooks just kind of works, you know? Kooks? Surfing term, it kind of works for that. You're trying to port a surfing term into the car community? I'm just bringing it over, man. I'm just bringing it over. A lot of car kook. But a lot of people buy cars from other people, and then they put their touches on it, so it becomes their car. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You grew up in Southern California? I did, yeah. We were talking earlier with the host of this whole event. That's like, car, you think this is like the biggest car culture place in the world, kind Someone of, for these kind of cars? Someone was telling me that it is, especially yeah. like L.A. is kind of the hub. Because I was yeah. like, I get a lot of my, uh, work done on my car in, in Orange County, and I'm mm. thinking they have a really big car community. But people say, like, for BMW E30s, and for me, um, sure. there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's interesting that certain communities have their kind of car too. Yeah. like mm. Oakland we were talking about Oakland earlier my hometown they they like specific kinds of uh, of, of of gussied up cars mm. like a Cutlass Supreme it's like a very spe- a, a, like muscle cars with big wheels and s- what do they call them what scrapers S- scrapers yeah. Yeah. yeah like it's an interesting thing that a community can be like this is our All kind right. of souped up mm. car that's the thing about LA like there's so many different cars out here there's so many people into like a certain genre and niche of a car like can do whatever you want you could have whatever car you have there's there's some kind of community for it here do you go to bmw meetups and stuff a lot yeah yeah a lot, a lot. Do, do it do you ever have like um at these german car meetups like a weird kind of like a guy in like a nazi uniform <laughs> like oh, no we don't want your kind here and he's like this is my you we don't want your kind here i like this is my car kind of a thing kind of a fun no no, no no i'm not none of that i've been to not in la but yeah. you go to the dusseldorf meetup for yeah the it's BMW a little different thing? yeah it's a little different, really different. <laughs> what is sid all doing here <laughs> So do you have like is a lot of your friend group now in the car world? Yeah, That's a cool. lot of them. Yeah, my boy Jason over there, uh, he has E30 like mine. It's a white one. Um, mm. I have a lot of homies that have E30s, and like we just kind of mm. when when stuff breaks, we kind of just figure it out, put our heads together, and try to fix it. You know? Growing up, he was into E40. That's true. So I, drove a, I drove a BMW E40. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a scraper as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, okay, this is cool. What do you do for work? I am a social media influencer. Oh, really? It's kind of, a, it's kind of like a weird saying it out No, loud. I like that. Yeah, I, I, I do fashion. Um, oh, fashion. Fashion on TikTok. I have 700,000 followers on TikTok. And you make money from that? Yes, I do. The damn, I didn't I like that. I have 800,000 yes. followers. Yes, felt a little bit braggadocious. Well, I just, hey, we have 800,000. Yeah. It paid for that car. Yeah. <laughs> we have, eight, have 800,000 followers and we do not make money on TikTok. Really? I don't understand well, why. So you got to understand, like, I'm doing fashion. Right. You so can, brands, brands reach out to you all the time. Brands reach out to me. So, like, I do a lot of ads for brands and, like. We do ads on the podcast and we definitely make money from it. But the, uh-huh. we've never monetized our TikTok ever. And I just, and I don't know. Are you guys in the creative program in TikTok? Yeah, but I've never really looked at it. Is that uh, where you get your offers? No. It's so like direct off, emails, Direct right? emails, but create, they're actually paying you to post TikToks like YouTube. Right. Yeah, yeah. It's not the same amount. But right. It's, it's well, Instagram did amount. that briefly. Yeah, they stopped doing we it, We made right? like a few thousand dollars a month on Instagram, but yeah, then yeah. they just stopped doing it. They stopped it. doing it, yeah. It very I thought, you tuned into unrelatable content. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just, I just don't, I, I, it's, I'm glad that you're making a living from it. That's great. Um, we make money from the show. It's not yeah, It's yeah. not bad, but it's just the, the TikTok has never worked out for us really? in that way, and I just was curious. Do you guys repurpose, repurpose your content from the show onto TikTok? Yeah, yeah, 100%. That's where we have our followers from, but I just, I it's, uh, we haven't ever made I've, brands. I've never really been on YouTube. Oh, interesting. So I yeah. started on Instagram. Yeah. Um, I'm a skateboarder. As oh, well. cool. So I've been doing. You're not like, I grew say, up skateboarding. Come on. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I don't do it anymore. I'm too old. But I grew up skateboarding. So I got popular for skateboarding, and then I started making music, and then. Oh, cool, man. Well, Renaissance fashion, man. Yeah. Then I started the fashion thing, and then the fashion thing has been my breadwinner. Uh, do you, you what? Did, what is your fashion thing? Do you do you make clothes, or do you just like source them and have a certain I style? I build outfits and like build curate outf- outfits. I yes. curated outfits for the kids. Oh, so you're like um like a stylist. get ready with me. <laughs> you're like a stylist. Outfit influencer. of the day, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, were you were you a uh, professional skateboarder when you were? I was amateur. Mm. I skated for a bunch of different brands. Um, yeah, yeah. Had a couple Thrasher ads. I had a video. Cool. And my, they dropped my part on Thrasher years ago, so mm. I did my thing in the skateboarding world. Did you ever see that um, Thrasher video with like the green screen skateboarding thing? I have not. Oh, I don't know. Did like you ever a- see the show Betty on HBO? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I have not. Well, that's skateboarding. Saying, we all <laughs> skateboarding. We all have a connection to skateboarding. skateboarding. Okay. No, it was like this funny video where they were like m- acting as if the uh, skate parts were made on green screen. Uh-huh. Like there's like a director. Anyway, it was. It's only Thrasher's most popular video they've ever posted. 
Do you want to? He said, "Sorry, I'm not anything." Well, you're supposed to say you had. I was in it. Yeah, oh, you're in it. Oh, okay, <laughs> nice, 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 nice. It. No, nice. I, I, it doesn't matter. But that's cool. You, you, ever, you ever see the uh, Charlie bit my finger video? <laughs> yes, on <YouTube>? yes. <laughs> is this okay. that him? No, no, good video. Uh, no, good video. It has nothing to do with either of us. It's just the most popular video uh, YouTube's ever had. So okay, okay. Do you still do you still skate a lot? Yeah, of course. Because I just you know I'm a bit older than you, but not that much older. But I just I don't. It's just. I just I don't want to get injured and I just feel like I started surfing I we, we surf together a lot surfing is so I much skate, lower I impact I skate on my own means like I'm not right. going to do anything crazy right. like I'm not trying to hurt myself exactly you know but I do sprinkle a little bit of skateboarding into my content because my content is fashion yeah but it's very lifestyle like I made a whole video of this place oh like, cool cool when I'm going to certain places I'll film it you know yeah, I mean? it's yeah. very lifestyle yeah. do you respect what I do I grind really hard at skate parks on my razor scooter <laughs> do you have respect for that or do you not like that like I, I go there I'm like middle aged ra razor on TikTok <laughs> and uh, middle aged razor yeah and I just will like it, I have a I have a razor e, e30 yeah if it makes you happy <laughs> do what you gotta do if it makes you happy Happy, you know what I mean? Ask me if I make money on Razor Scooter videos. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I thought I was trying to. I was trying to do your yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, so, what's your ultimate goal with the fashion stuff? Oh man, um, I don't know, dude. Like, I I love doing what I'm doing, but the way I'm trying to set up how I'm doing things, mm -hmm. like, I want to not necessarily have a podcast like you guys, but I want to host some type You're, of show. You, you like you want to be more of a personality. Yeah, more yeah. personality. You know Are you is your personality show in these videos or is it oh, more like okay, cool. Yeah, You're course. talking and stuff. It's not just like no, no, songs I'm talking. It's not okay. just a song. Sometimes it's just a song, but I'm talking most cool. of the time, yeah. Cool, cool. That's tight, man. Um when you said uh I want to do a don't necessarily want to do a podcast like you guys. Do you feel <laughs> like I'm I am the co-host of this podcast? He's just no, you in. you. Do I feel like you are the host? <laughs> you're the host. You're, you're the main character. You're the main character. You guys are you guys That's are a team. Nice. Who's <laughs> Batman? Who's Robin? Uh, to be <laughs> honest, I'm. Uh, Robin is, has long COVID and is in the ICU right now. <laughs> He's so I've, been, I've been called. I'm more. Oh, so you're, so you're I'm like Robin's, Batgirl. So you're like Robin's replacement. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys could both be Robin. Okay. I'm like Alfred, honestly, because I'm older than everybody here. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm the butler. Honestly, cool. what your goal should be, your career goal should be very obvious. What? You want to keep doing what you're doing. Yes. But just make enough money off of TikTok ads <laughs> to finally get that M class. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's, that's true. It. That's that's and then you're done. Then you can then you can write off. If I can find one, see the thing about. Cars. Hard to find, yeah. Think about cars, like yeah, you can buy it for a hundred thousand dollars, but who's selling it? Right. Interesting. You get what I'm saying? Those are rare. Do you yeah, do you have yeah. like alerts if anyone goes for sale just to see? Someone will send it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone yeah, send it to me. <laughs> I heard that you are looking for an M class. <laughs> Well, I ideologically do not agree with everything. <laughs> I do have one for sale. <laughs> Merely come to Dusseldorf. Do not tell your friends and I've family. I've actually been to Germany. I stayed in Germany for a whole three, no, two months. Because of it was BMW? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Skate trip. Oh. And they were actually really, really nice to me. Yeah, no, uh, to be honest <laughs> with you, to be honest with you, I've been to Germany too, big big old Jew here. Yeah. And I had a hard time with how nice everybody was. Yeah, I was like, I was damn like, it, I, I want to hate yeah, everyone. Exactly. I was going there, I was like, oh, this is going to be the worst trip. And then I They're got so like, nice. Welcome to Germany. I'm like, They're no. so nice. What, what part of Germany did you say? I went to Berlin. Okay, I didn't go to Berlin. I was in Hamburg mm. most of the time and in, 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 uh, Frankfurt most of the time. Mm. But I was there for a whole month, so I like, got to experience the whole culture. I went to uh, Copenhagen as well. Oh, you Copenhagen's the best. It's my favorite city. podcast, but Germany. We want to travel with it. We're trying Have to. Have you guys ever left? Uh, We've been LA? to Canada. Canada. We've been all over the country. How's Canada? How did Canada? Canada it was so good. Yeah, Canada was Everyone's good. Everyone's so nice there. It's like, Honestly, is it our like, taping is it in Canada was fire. I mean, it was <laughs> he so was good. not there. <laughs> no. Oh, you weren't. <laughs> I'm actually not. Uh, the truth is, I, this is the first time I've ever co-hosted this podcast. But he's been uh, a guest on it a few times. Okay. But I've been a guest on it. Yeah. i got my own thing going on. Mm -hmm. I'm verified on Twitter. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah, I pay $8 you pay a month for it. Endless Honeymoon Podcast. He gives relationship advice. We'll plug it at the top of the show, obviously. But it's a great it's a great. Like um, well, shit, Cyril. Anything? Any final thoughts you want to say before you no. head off the off mic? Not at all. Uh, where can people find your stuff? What's your uh, handle? My handle is my name, Cyril Roy Palmer, on TikTok. Okay, That's and a then strong name. And then like and then that. my Instagram is Watch You Die. What's that dark. about? I don't know. Watch Actually, you die. So, so, so stronger I, name. So I've had an Instagram since 2012 when it started. Yeah. And the name was a joke. And I just never changed it. It just stuck. Is it spelled like it sounds? Yes. Watch you die. Have watch you ever you watched die. anybody die? No, I have not. Oh. I don't ever want to. Have you ever gotten like? had any scary things with your car like i don't know yeah like oh, you're just kind of going go. a little too fast you don't have to talk with about that it yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that back. hold on Cyril, before you go well, you kind of yeah i i, I have i yeah. have there's a lot of scary stuff driving that car but it's just like you gotta just you get in <laughs> it you just have a prayer hey, just make a prayer what do, what do we mean because it just because the bumps something comes up uh, just like, bumps and oh just it's called god's chariot because you're about to meet the motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> It's taking you straight to God. He uh, says it's God's up there. He's like, oh, another E30. E Come on in. You should have gone.
on the M class. <laughs> God lists it on eBay and just waits for you to die. <laughs> and then he comes right to him. Yeah, a, wow, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of scares, but you know. Yeah. Just mecha- like you might almost no, get man, it No, man, mechanically, knock on wood, there's a wood to knock yeah. on. Mechanically, my car has never given me any problems, just cosmetically. Yeah. Oh, cosmetically, yeah, just yeah, cosmetically yeah. Yeah. falls scary, off. Like, cosmetically scary. Like you look down and it's not as cool as you thought. You're yeah, like, this like, is damn, terrifying. Damn, not enough people are here <laughs> taking pictures of it, man. What, <laughs> that is what scary. am I doing? No, that's Final scary. question, can yeah. I do that? Yeah, yeah do it, yeah, do it. If you could drive another car that wasn't a BMW, what are you choosing? Just We're giving it to you, it's it's free. To, we are literally, and you can't, and you can't like sell it tomorrow. We're not, it's so not like a profit this thing. Is, this is how it. it goes. This is yeah. how it goes. There's levels to this car. Okay. This car thing. You get an E30, mm-hmm. but every person that wants an E30, they secretly want a Porsche. Uh-huh. So, so that's what it is. That's what it is. You're gonna so go with you, the Porsche. You, you take your levels. You get the, you get the BMW. And it's just like, mm, I need the Porsche. An older <laughs> Porsche, like one of those, or I'll take any Porsche. Okay. Is there something above Porsche? In my eyes, like when you get to like supercars, you get a McLaren, you get a Lamborghini sure. and stuff like that. But Porsche is just like it's classic. Yeah, it's not too showy, but it has something to it. Yeah, I, to me, I agree. With a that. Lamborghini, like a you look, you drive by in a BMW, I'm like, that's a cool dude. Yeah, you drive by in a Porsche, you go even cooler dude. Yeah, you drive by in a McLaren, I'm like, I don't want to fuck with this guy. I don't want to talk it's to just, this person. It's just getting it. Yeah, maybe not necessarily driving it, looking at it, and know that you got the money to get it. Mm. It's just it's just the satisfaction. Yeah. Robbie Hoffman just got an old Porsche. Okay. That's her car right now. That's kind Lotuses of cool, are cool, kind too. Of a cool Lotuses are cool. Yeah. Lotuses are cool. Oh, yeah. Those, yeah, I've seen those. Those yeah, are cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, thanks, Cyril. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Nice guys. to meet yeah. you, Cyril. Bye-bye. Take care. Robbie's been on the show before, so, you know, past oh. guests. Had to shout out the... Oh, man. This is feeling... Perm- this is what this is feeling this comfortable in a way that I feel like I'm going to do it from now on. Whoa, I'm back. Whoa, Cole's here? How was the co- long COVID ward? I won. Congratulations. That's actually two for that's time to do the sponsors. Thanks of Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. With Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on Hello Fresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. Fall is almost here, oh. and it's time to kickstart a fresh fall routine with HelloFresh. HelloFresh handles all the meal planning and shopping to deliver everything you need to cook up a tasty meal right at home. They do the hard part, and you get to take the credit. When it comes to options, honestly, more is more. That's why HelloFresh's menu includes 40 recipes and over 100 add-on items to choose from every week. That's crazy, because for me... I cooked what they sent and it was actually really good. And what I made recently was a sun-dried tomato spaghetti with fresh parsley, almonds, and Parmesan. I didn't even know parsley could be fresh. I thought it had to be old. But this time it was fresh. It was really good. It had really dynamic and fun flavors. The almonds played off the Parmesan in this delicious way that just made my mouth go, is this legal? It turns out it fully is. Hmm. And it was easy to cook. And, and it was why something- the cops show up? Well... That's for something else. No, I did call them because I was like, I, I called them. I said, this is so good. Surely I, I need to be arrested. Yeah. And they showed up and they were just like, well, did you cook it yourself? I go, yeah. They go, are you taking all the credit? I go, yeah. They're like, oh, that's totally fine. Holy crap. They're all, they're all about that. I love the cops now. You ate some of that, right? I tried it. Yeah. And it was good? It's so good. I forgot my own name. Really? <laughs> so good. Yeah. It's Brock. Okay. Brog. Brog. You know about Green Chef? Uh, yeah. We've worked with them. Yeah. And Green Chef is now owned by HelloFresh. And with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everyone. I like switching between the two of them and just saying, what do I feel like this week, Green Chef or HelloFresh? Ooh, and now our listeners can enjoy both brands at a discount with us. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 outside and use code 50 outside for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 outside and use code 50 outside for 50% off plus 15% off the next two months. America's number one meal kit. Yummy. So true, bestie. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Whoa. Do you ever find that you're trying to fall asleep and your brain just won't stop talking? Do your thoughts start racing right before bed or at other inopportune moments? Sometimes it's your voice that plays in my head. Really? Yeah. Because well, you're listening to the tape I sent you, right? Yeah. Yeah. But then at, when I turn it off, I still hear you kind of like haunting. That's the whole point of the tape. Oh, okay. Well, then it's working. But if you have issues that aren't like that, because that's a separate thing between me and Cole. But if you are just thinking about your life before you fall asleep, which I often sometimes do, it's not great. You know, when you got stuff that's on your mind, you got to get it off your mind. Yeah. And you got to spit it out at another human face. You got to talk them through. You got to talk through the stuff. And the good way to do that is through better Better help. help. I go to therapy every week. I talk through the stuff so that when I want to hit the pillow and go to sleep, the stuff has already been talked about. There's nothing in my mind except Fast and Furious movies and... You know, ice cream. 
good stuff that I will make me go to sleep and make me have good dreams. That's so nice. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash outside today and get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash outside. You get 10% off. It helps your brain. It helps the show. Give it a try. Please. All right. We got another guy. Okay. What's your name, first of all? I'm John. John. Thanks for being here. Of course. John, um, I have a serious question for you. Yes. Uh, is, is it okay if I ask Please do. Please do. Uh, okay. So you have the Jurassic Park vehicle behind us. Yes. But it's not the first, second, or tenth Jurassic Park modified vehicle I've seen on the road. I mean, it might be the most impressive. It is the most impressive. I think I've seen this one around. Are you the most I, famous one? No. Okay. I, I live in North Hollywood. So if you've seen, if you've seen it by like Universal and stuff like that, that's me. But there are... A lot of these. There are a lot of these. Okay. That was going to be my qu- what is uh, What is up with mo- the modifying your car to be more Jurassic Park-y <laughs> community? I, don't I feel like <laughs> if you find a late 80s, early 90s Jeep, it's going to look like a Jurassic Park Jeep. Yeah. Because that's what everyone But yours does. is a Ford. Was it yeah. the Ford in the movie? Yeah, it was the first gen Ford Explorer. Okay, this is what it was in the movie. <clears throat> got yeah. it, got it. But there's also the Jeeps from the movie, too. There's the Jeeps as well, yeah. Okay. And everyone does the Jeep because it's like, oh, it's, it's a lot easier, obviously, because it's just a paint job. So what came first? You wanting to do this or you buying this Ford car? Me wanting to okay, do it. Okay. Yeah. You weren't just like you didn't just happen to have an explorer and you're like, well, I guess I'll turn this into a Jurassic Park car. <laughs> no, I have always wanted to do a movie car. And okay. so I can't afford a DeLorean. So. Sure, sure, <laughs> sure. So I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a Ford Explorer and do Jurassic Park. Because these these are cheaper to buy than that. Do you communicate and connect with other Jurassic Park aficionados in your area? There is a whole <laughs> Facebook group. Uh-huh. And yeah, it's we'll called J Day. <laughs> <laughs> Jurassic Park Day. <laughs> Jurassic Day. <laughs> I love that. But we, we do uh, um, like parades and stuff like that and uh, a bunch of other things. So why did you want to own a movie car? Um, I work in the film industry. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I love movies. Sure. And I, that's just something I've, I've always wanted to do is, is have a fun movie car. Do you like the conversations you get in from it? I do. Is it every day? Um, yeah. This isn't my daily driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gas alone would kill me. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. Well, yeah, it's, no. what, it's what eventually, ironically, killed the dinosaurs. Yeah, and it came, and that's how we get gas. Oh, right. Oh no, the dinosaurs became. That gas. is kind of cool. That right. in a way, you're driving a Jurassic Park vehicle that's, that's that is burning. Burning, that burning Jurassic blood. Yes, right. That's pretty beautiful. Wow. <laughs> And um, how often are you driving this this whip? Um, I this is, this is my weekend car. It's okay. one of those like I'll, I'll take it to events, things like that. My daily driver is electric though. Do people mm-hmm. often pull up on you and go, "Welcome to Jurassic Park"? <laughs> I mean, what's the most commonly um, uh, uh, heard thing screamed it, it, at you? It's always the uh, "Look out for the dinosaurs." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And do you get some cool footage of the of the ground in front of your car right there? <laughs> uh, it's it's <laughs> it's a real camera, <laughs> not hooked up. <laughs> okay. And so is it, was there a camera in the is yeah, yeah like in, that in the, the movie, movie? Okay. it's supposed to be like the track is I like couldn't it, tell yeah in, in the movie it's supposed to be a fully electric is it pointed down like that in the movie yeah because it's supposed to be look, <laughs> looking down at like the little track thing. now did it work in the movie or was it also <laughs> offline I, it worked in the movie got like, it in the movie world but yeah do you know any fun trivia from Jurassic Park that we should know um not off the top like, okay. like it, it's a, like a lot of like random facts sure, but sure. I can't think of anything okay I would say this is a bit of trivia you might not know about Jurassic Park um Newman from Seinfeld, yeah. his, his line, ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word from the, the do you remember this part? Yeah. It'd be crazy if you didn't, <laughs> I'll be honest, um, is the most often repeated um, line from the movie from my five-year-old daughter. Did you know that? <laughs> it's a good piece of trivia. Yeah, not a lot of people know that, but if you're ever at a bar and you're in a trivia contest, that's a really good one to go so, with. So she just loves that line. She always says to me, she goes, ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. That's so, so funny. I met Jeff I met Jeff Daniels once, who's mm-hmm. in Dumb and Dumber, and we brought up Dumb and Dumber to him, and he goes, he goes like, I'm shaving, which is like the least memorable <laughs> line from the movie, <laughs> but was like the only line he remembered. I guess he was like, had diarrhea in the bathroom, and he said he was shaving. But it was just like, have you seen the movie? And I don't think he had. Uh, what would be the car... The Dumb and Dumber had a car too, didn't they? Yeah, they the, like the sheepdog. Yeah, the, the, sheep, the, yeah. the mutt man. Yeah. You should, has anyone done that? I don't know. That would like be cool. That would be cool. Possible to keep clean, though. right? Because right, it's so all, fair. especially in LA. Yeah. yeah. Can Thanks we see the happy. inside of your vehicle? Oh, please. Yeah. Let's go take a. Go, here, here, we'll give him a tour. Do, do like Newman, or I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. yeah. In, in the yeah. trunk, there's some lovely uh, other props. I have the goggles and stuff like that. Let's take a peek inside. Yeah. Let's take a peek inside. Yeah. You can just give a vision of audio tour as he's looking. As you see, it's a. Yeah. It's the car. Okay. So what are we going to see when we look in there? In the trunk, there is uh, some maps. Okay. Nice. Uh, There is the little uh, 
box with the the flares, the flashlight, and all that jazz. Damn. I have the green and yellow goggles that light up, which is really fun. Wow. Uh, and those are all just like one of a kind things that you had fabricated 3D or 3D printed. 3D printed. Yeah, the wow. the goggles are 3D printed. Uh, Let's take a look at that little screen in there that has yep. a little video. And the screen is an old CRT monitor that I um, actually ripped out the guts on, and it's an iPad mini. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. So it looks like an old thing, but it's it an looks iPad like mini. it's an old thing, but it ha it's full HD, and then also has Apple CarPlay, and that's funny, man. And all the YouTube and all that jazz. Great. So cool. Uh, yeah, the little little amber with the mosquito. Okay, uh, we're, I'm excited to take a look when we're done here. My friend uh, gave me the claw, and then I have little cups with like the water and all the jazz. But no, it's cool. Good. Thanks again for sharing. We appreciate yeah, of course. it. Yeah, Thank take you. care. See you around. See ya. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey, what's going on? Tell us your name into that microphone right there. Uh, my name is uh, Mike Romero, and uh, Mike I have Romero. a 77 Ford Thunderbird. Nice. Wait, where is it? The one oh, right, right here. here. This one, yeah. right? The Whoa. one that's been behind us the whole time. Beautiful yeah, car. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. How long? Would, would, go ahead. Would you say that low ri low riders is what we would call them? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Would you say that that's like the the original? Um, like in like creator of this kind of customized car culture did you guys start that do you feel like uh i don't know i don't think so because well maybe but like to me um i think uh custom cars kind of started with custom cars in the 50s mm. you know they would lower their cars shave the handles off nose them deck them stuff like that and i i feel like that low riding evolved from that Mm. You know, so not to say who did it first or anything, but I think it goes back to 40s and 50s because people were before that people were coach building cars. What does that mean? You would get um, like a 30s and 40s car and take it to a shop and they would hand fabricate any unique interesting detail you would just you like want. draw basically what you want kind yeah of. yeah interesting so are those you kit know cars is that what those are called? no no coach building is is really a craft um where they would just really create anything you could imagine do you have a big community you're a part of oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. do a, all out all driving cruise, with, with cruising your, with around and hanging out with people and i feel like low riders are the the one type of car where i see a lot of them together Oh, more, yeah. more so than I ever see one individually. It's sure. usually like a whole crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is there it's, it's fun to cruise around, you know? Yeah. You're hitting the switches and... Yeah. Would you guys let me into your crew <laughs> if I had a, a drop-top, customized um, Lowrider 91 Geo Metro? <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to start a car club called <laughs> Suck. Time, yeah. The small, ugly car club, <laughs> and and put the plaques on the back and stuff, and like have it. For, but we'll, we'll, you can we'll, do it. You can do it, <laughs> but not around you. You can you can roll, man. I'll, I'll check your car out. I'll check your car. I love I love all cars, so you know I ain't hating. So how <laughs> high and low does it go? Is that around the front the limit? end? That's as high that's as the, the front limit. end goes. Okay. So the back end's about the same. And when you're driving around, how often are you hitting the switches and going up and down? Uh, a little bit here and there. It just depends on how I feel about it, you know. But I I like to scrape my car. Oh, so you like to scrape on the ground. I'll bring the back up and then drop the front and have a big scrape block underneath oh, the, I see the that. front end. So it creates sparks and yeah. stuff. Damn. Yeah, yeah. And that's like while you're driving and stuff? Yeah. You, you scrape? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a, a symbol? Like, you know how like doing that is like telling a truck driver to honk? <laughs> is there a like symbol? That. Oh, you do it like that. That's, that's what it. it yeah. That's the, the symbol for <laughs> And will you, what percentage of the time will you listen to the person that's commanding you to do this? <laughs> it, it depends um, how distracted I am. You know, I, I pay attention to a lot of what I'm doing when I'm driving uh -huh. my car, so yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. want to wreck or you know, bump into something. <laughs> is this your dream, th this car? Like, you feel like you've, you've realized your vision right now? Uh, you know, I like a lot of different cars, so I'd never had anything particular in mind. Mm. I inherited this car from my great uncle. Mm. So, so it's he, a family would, car. But and you do have a Thunderbird tattooed on your forearm, so I mean, it feels like <laughs> you stay committed to this one at yeah, this point. Yeah. Yeah. Did your uncle also like trick it out, or is that all no, you? No, no. It was, no, just, it it was, was all just, stock it was when stock. I got it. Okay, that's kind of yeah. interesting. Yeah, and so yeah. did anybody in your family have modified vehicles like this? Or my dad. You, oh, your dad. What did yeah. your dad drive? He had uh, he had a ton of cars. He had 66 uh, Chevy Impalas. Um, he was into that little window. Yeah. Whoa. He was into vans. He was uh, president of a van club back in the 70s. Mm. Oh, so that sounds cool to be president uh, of a van club. Yeah, that's cool. I yeah, like lot, that. lots of fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can only imagine. <laughs> Is this your daily driver? No. No, okay. it used to be. It used to be, but now I, I have a truck, so. Okay. <laughs> 
Now, uh, do you have to be careful with how much you use the hydraulics? Will it break if you do it too mu too often? It, it depends. Not too often, but how you use them. Oh. You know, you don't want to go up too high, too fast, too hard, because you know you could ruin your seals and things that like that. That applies to life, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's so beautiful. You, could, you, could, really yeah. you know, you could break parts and things, yeah. but um, it, you just have to learn to do it. Be respectful, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you now, do it, you break it, you figure out how to fix it, and you keep going. <laughs> now, if you had an enemy, would you say a good punishment to the enemy would be to tie them up underneath the vehicle and hit switches on top of their body? <laughs> that, that would, yes. That yeah. would scrape them. Yeah. <laughs> scrape them. There's, uh, yeah. there's I, I like to scrape. Yeah, I like a, to scrape people. I can't remember the name of the movie, but there's a movie scene and uh, and these people get in a bar fight and they bust outside into the, out out in the parking lot and then there's a lowrider happens to be driving by hopping and the guy falls and his head gets crushed by Ooh, the tire. I like the sound <laughs> of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, pretty funny. Do you think there's something sexual about um, like the the kind of twerk nature of mm. the like the back the movement? Kinda, yeah, yeah, definitely. I something kind of hot about it, right? Yeah, anything. You know, the car moves. It's not something you see. Yeah. Um, you know, and then you got paint jobs, and you got nice shiny paint and chrome and interiors that are nice and plush. So yeah, there's definitely a element of that in there. Have you ever made love in your lowrider? <laughs> and uh, and su uh, secondary question, <laughs> did you have to do any work or did you just hit the switches? <laughs> <laughs> you just strapped her in. <laughs> yeah, you just sit there. You don't have to do anything. You just—it's kind of that's fun. Oh, he's leaving. Our friend. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll, I'll reserve. Pit? I'll reserve you that reserve, question. Reserve that yeah. question. You are much it. more giving about the uh, murdering a person by <laughs> slamming the car on his head than whether you have sex. Or not. <laughs> and that's the problem with society today. Violence is okay, and <laughs> sex, sex is, is roundabout. Not. I can agree with that too. <laughs> 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 so, um, how, um, like. When you got the, when you inherited the car, were you immediately like, oh, I know exactly what I want to do with this? No. Okay, you kind of got, you no. gradually I, went into it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was hanging out with some friends that built custom cars mm. and hot rods and lowriders. So, it, I never, maybe this was the dream for it. I yeah. just, I wasn't like, okay, I'm going to do this. Sure. It just sort of all started happened. happening. Yeah. yeah. And then you got into it and then yeah. you learned about it and now yeah. that's your, that's your thing. Yeah. I'm you curious know. about something with uh, car crews. Where are you guys going? going <laughs> nowhere real slow yeah <laughs> <laughs> is anyone leading it like is there a plan or is Good it just question. like we'll see what happens sometimes there is and sometimes there isn't you okay know, sometimes you just just cruise around and you know see the neighborhood and, and how often do you guys have to pull off to let someone who missed the, the light back there oh that's through? a great question yeah it all depends on how how long the train is okay you know? but sometimes the train yeah, can stop and go happens. quite a lot that's like yeah, life okay. actually are there big lowrider communities in in any other places in the world or southern california like the spot to do it socal's good uh, uh new mexico oh, new mexico's good a lot of lowriders out there uh even arizona this Mm. Really, low riding is worldwide, man. You oh, yeah. Can, you can find low riders almost anywhere. Huh. Well, hey, thanks for sitting, uh, sharing your stuff, man. We really appreciate sure. it. Here's a sticker. You can find our stuff. This will be online eventually. And then a dollar, donate it, do whatever the heck you want with it. We just pay everyone a dollar. Yeah. Thanks for saying hi, man. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much. Right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's cool. I got her to come. You got her to come. Okay. On the yeah, way, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, then, and then we'll be done. Yeah. We got the feminine energy. Yeah, we need some feminine energy, you know? Hey, you want to sit down? Oh, we got to... Oh, yeah, yeah, come, come over wow, here. Everyone's like over here. Yeah, let's frame it correctly. Let's just, let's just do it. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Tell us your name. My name is Jessica. Okay, that's my sister's name. Pretty cool. Pretty cool for me. It's kind of a small world. Yeah, she owns... She used to have an Impala. Two Jessicas. Yeah, it's just in the whole world. Uh, Two Jessicas, one Porsche. What brings you here today, Jessica? Um, he invited me. Okay. So are, I are, you a car, are you a car person? Um, yes, I work in automobile aftermarket manufacturing. Oh, so you're selling to all these people. Yes. You're helping them live their dreams. Well, not all of them, but just uh, Porsches. You work in Porsches. Oh, yes. cool. Is that your Porsche right there? Right there. The red That's one. That's yours? That's yep. pretty sexy. Amazing. Wait, we, it's so cool. Are we saying it wrong? Should we be saying Porsche? That is, I mean, you could say Porsche, but that's it is said Porsche. And in, in, in Italy... Germany. It, that's what I said. In <laughs> Germany. Why, why would you disrespect me like that? In <laughs> Germany... They will say Porsche. Yes. Why do we say Porsche? Just because we're dumb? Um, I guess it's just the American version of it. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that's how we... We don't usually have a uh, I guess, for our E's. Right. My language. name is Moshe. Oh. Yeah, that's true. And it's got an E at the end. Sometimes oh. we'll call you Moshe. Finally, the, the, the uh, mystery of my name has been solved today. Well, then you need a Porsche. I should get a Porsche. That's true. Moshe Porsche. Yeah. yeah. Did the car come first or the job? 
Um, this car did not come first. Um, I worked in manufacturing for like 10 years. Mm. So I had other cars. Uh, before this, I had a stage two carbon fiber Bentley Continental. Oh yeah. Okay. That was yeah, a yeah, thousand horsepower. Yeah. So a thousand horsepower? A thousand horsepower. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you do with a thousand horsepower? You go to the drag strip. Interesting. A Bentley Continental. Yeah. Yep. How'd you get into cars? Um, my grandpa builds cars and my uncle, my dad. So, huh. yeah. So everybody in my family builds cars. Your whole life you've been into cars. Yeah. Pretty what much. was your first car? Um, a Cavalier convertible. So you've always had cool cars. I mean, I don't know if that's a cool car. That sounds cool. I mean, the word it convertible sounded, sounds it sounded cool. cool. And yeah. Cavalier is literally a Means synonym cool. for cool. <laughs> yeah. so. Oh, is it? Yeah. I think so. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So I think you're good. Then by definition, I yeah. guess, yes, then I it is. I think you're good. Yeah. Okay. So. Would you consider um, a Volkswagen, what's it called? Corrado. Corrado a cool car? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we it. go. Damn yeah. it. I'm telling you. This is not how I want it today to go. <laughs> I would say most, I'm open-minded. I like a lot of cars. Would what? you consider a Toyota Camry a cool car? You're pushing it. Okay, good. I had to test. I had to you're, make sure you had, a, you had a limit. Yeah. I had to make sure you had a limit. To be honest, I did have a 91 Geo Metro, and it was one of the, my favorite cars I ever owned. Was it three-cylinder? Three-cylinder. I've heard of you that. You could pick it up. You could parallel park it by just grabbing it at the, the <laughs> chassis and just putting it into the... Really good car. gas mileage, too. The best yeah. gas yeah. mileage. No, those are cool. My friend had one growing up. It was... Uh, Hey, They're fun. It can't break because there's nothing to break. I like small cars. I like I like small cars, and I like. I mean, I think what I like about Porsches is they're all small. I like a small kind of framed car. Um, now, would you say your car is cooler or the new Porsche Cayenne SUV? I'm just kidding. Yours a is cooler. Cayenne. <laughs> I mean, that's a 911, so let's you know. And it has the front trunk thing, like a Tesla does, huh? Just You're, like a Tesla. It's kind of yeah. interesting. Just like a Tesla. Tesla started it, and Tesla then started it. Porsche and uh, Volkswagen <laughs> kind of decided they just, they'd know. do it too. So is the engine underneath? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, it's underneath. It's not in, in the back. It's inside the car. Oh. No, interesting. it's not. It's in the back. Uh, no, because uh, then she, she, opened the, she opened the front trunk, and I was like, so uh, it's yeah. in the back. It's in the back. It's huh? in the back. You lift up the whale tail in the back in the trunk. So you don't have a trunk back there, then? Nope, no trunk. Huh. Yeah, but a 944 Porsche has two trunks. Well, we know that. One in the front, one in the back. That oh. we know. And you can put junk in it. Yeah. yeah. Junk in the trunk. See, yeah. mine's like that in the back. Oh right. Oh, I see. Oh, so so. Oh, okay. But that's a, that one's a little faster than mine. Do you do you appreciate that car? Oh hell yeah. What's up with the windows on the side? What's that it's for? It's a race car. Okay, so what race is, cars don't have glass. Is that to like? So they don't Th shatter so in it's your to face. Th it's to yeah. thank the people that are like fixing it as you're as they're at the, the <laughs> thank pit you. stop. <laughs> 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 Safety thing. Give them a little kiss. It's a win it's like a toll booth window. <laughs> yeah. like, thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. Guys. Give them a little kiss. He said that's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Let's get this race going. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Do you um do you go fast in your car? Um. It's not that fast, to be honest. It just it looks seems fast. It looks fast. It looks faster than it is. It looks is. fast, but it's um, it's just like 250 horsepower. How did you go down? How did you scale down to a fourth of what you're used to? Was that a tough adjustment? It really is. It's to be literally honest. 750 horses left. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a whole horse pen just like w wandering whole, away, uh, abandoning uh, you. An entire community, a legacy of horses. <laughs> it was really hard downgrading in the horsepower. Why did you Why did you do it? Um, well. I mean, I do aftermarket parts, mm. and the Bentley market is a really small market. Yeah. And the air-cooled Porsche market is a very, very large one. Oh, interesting. So what? for marketing purposes and for selling products, this has like a 24-year span of cars that I can do. Mm. And just there's just so many of them. And, and the is Bentley. there a lot of stuff on that car that you sell at your company? Um, no, just the just the hood on that one. Okay, the hood. Yeah, just the hood. We just started doing the air-cooled parts. Mm. I, I'm curious... Um, what kind of gas mileage does a thousand horsepower vehicle get? You know, it actually gets more than you think. Like if you're just regular driving on the highway, 20 miles a gallon. Whoa. That is definitely but, not what I thought. But once you start downshifting and boosting on the highway to like, you know, do a pull against somebody, you can watch the gas tank go down. You can see it physically? You can physically see it move. <laughs> oh my God. So like so five crazy. or five miles a gallon. Does Mother Earth like like emerge from beneath you and start to weep when you do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure Teslas and Priuses don't appreciate me pulling up next to them in that. <laughs> <laughs> or even that one, because you know, you can definitely smell the gas. Mm. Right. I used to ha di drive a, uh, a, a 1993 Dodge Cummins. Okay. Do you know, about, do you know what Roland Cole is? Yes. I'm I from Texas. Okay. Yeah. You know what Rolling Coal is? Yeah, I know is? about it. Yeah. It's, pr it's the worst thing on earth. I, I would feel so... I mean, look at me. Do I look like a man that rolls coal? <laughs> but And yet I would roll coal. Uh, and it's just where a plume of black smoke just 
just spits yeah. out of your exhaust pipe. It'll like engulf your whole car. The you know, worst. You know, co- long COVID recently rolled coal. <laughs> 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 really bad. You're finally agreeing with me that <laughs> Cole is definitely <laughs> ill. Finally. I agree. I agree. So, okay. So, you um, you are a car enthusiast. You work in the car world. Yep. Are there a lot of women working in that world or enthusiasts? I hate to bring it up, but you're the only woman we talked to today, and I just have to ask, like, no. how does that feel to be a woman you know, in that space? There's not many women in the space, yeah. to be honest, and... The few that are here, we all know each other. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll go to like women's brunches or That's lunches. Cool. And there's actually a women's event today at Marconi Museum. Okay. And all the girls are there, but I like this guy. Oh, you, you want like to come Sean. here? So I came here That's and I, cool. I see them all the time. That's so. cool. So you have like a smaller community within the community yep. that you feel is very supportive. There's, and There's a whole little girl gang. That's that cool. Yeah. And there are Porsches or just all sorts of um, different cars? All sorts of cars. Okay. Really. Now, would it be appreciated if I rolled up on you guys and I called you, oh, look, there's the little girl gang? <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> really? We'd be okay that with that. It feels very, very disrespectful <laughs> from a man. No, to no, say no. It. We're okay with it. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, That's we have good. to make our presence known, right? That's great. And then, okay, I've asked this to a couple people, but money is no object. Dream car. We're just giving it to you, and you have to drive it. It's not, you can't just immediately sell okay. it. What, what, would you, what would that car be? Um, Brand new 911 Turbo S. Okay. Mm-hmm. From in guards red. From this, year, from this year, like 2020. Brand new, yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Can I just say, like, about the little girl gang, like, <laughs> we relate because the podcasting community, it's, like, very rare to see a male, a white male yeah, podcaster. Yeah, not a lot of white oh, men are yeah, doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's not so very rare. It's, like, almost never, and so when you finally find each other, you'll, like, gather at a museum or something yeah. and be like, oh, it's the white boy gang. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's you cool. Got, for so you guys got your own gang too. We have each other. <laughs> we right. have each other. Well, okay, cool. So that you like what you like where that's cool. You like where Porsche is going now. Like the current direction of Porsche is still great. Oh, I great. do. I like the modern ones okay, too. Okay, that's cool. Because sometimes people who have yeah. older cars like this don't appreciate the newer ones, but you do. What's the, your company? Can people buy your stuff? I don't know how many of our listeners are um, Porsche enthusiasts, but my company is Sector Seven, and we do just mostly Porsche air cooled parts. I mean, we do sell our Bentley parts and some exotic ones still, but. Um, exhaust and carbon fiber is our main thing. Do you think carbon fiber is a good um, material to build like a submarine out of? <laughs> <laughs> or do you think that's a bad idea? I do not think we will have any companies coming to us <laughs> okay, no in one the else. near future. I think you should maybe stick with like titanium, titanium or something of the sort. A you little know? better. Okay. But well, hey, thank you for sitting down with us, Jessica. Thanks for you, having me. You're a fantastic I guest. It. We appreciate thank all you. your insights into the Porsche community, and um, we hope to see you out there on the streets. Shout out to Sector 7. Shout Thanks out to Sector for having 7. me. Does your car you. look really cool inside, too? Um, it's just, just original. Just original. Just you like, original. You like that. You yeah. Like that. A little worn, but, you know, looks good. Do you, and is that your that's your main car? No, that's just my weekend car. What's your daily driver? Um, An Audi A4 wagon. Okay. Modern? Yeah. Newer one? No, it's older, too. Older, too? Yeah. Okay. That's a cool car. I like wagons. I had a... A VW Golf Wagons and a, a sport wagon for a long time. All right. Well, yeah. I'm going to go get some pizza now. Thank you. But Here's, thank you. Here, this will go towards your pizza. Oh. We pay everyone thanks. I'll tip, the guy tip the guy. I'll tip the guy with that. Thank you so much, Jessica. Thank we you. really appreciate it. We love, we love talking to you. Thanks a lot. This episode is sponsored by Care Of. Care Of is a subscription service that ships high-quality, personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. Care Of also helps track your wellness progress through their thoughtfully designed companion app. Supplements can be a huge support for how you feel, and Care Of recognizes you're only a piece of the puzzle. Care Of just updated their app with new features that help you build a holistic daily wellness routine and help you track how your routine is working over time. As your needs and goals change, Care Of can help you adjust your routine to match. Their quiz can be retaken at any time to give you updated recommendations, and you can also adjust your habits and routine tracking in the app. Care of is great. You go to their website, you take their quiz, you talk about different health issues that you're currently dealing with. Maybe you feel sluggish in the afternoon. Maybe you just need a little bit of mental clarity. They really tailor specific supplements that are going to address the stuff that you're currently working on. And they make them specifically for you. They come in these individual little packets. It has your name on it. And it's got all the vitamins you need for that day. Yes. I took their like skin supplement and I got... They sent you skin? No, no. It's a supplement that helps you have good skin. And my skin rocks right now. Well, it does. Yeah. And I have more skin than ever. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that's related to the care. No, it gave me so much skin. It's like good. My skin, I have like a lot of skin. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I really love it. Ah. I love the little the, the packages that they come in. I just like, if I'm going on a trip or something, it's so easy. I just put a few of the little packages that say my name, each one is a day, in my bag. And that's like my vitamins for the trip. I got it all there. I'm happy to take them. I feel like I'm doing something good for myself, good for my body. And they make it so easy and fun and convenient. I just like the way they look on my counter. And then also in your body. Uh, yeah. For 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code OUTSIDE50. 50% 50 off. Go to takecareof.com. Enter code OUTSIDE50. You get 50% off. You take care of yourself. You take care of 
the podcast in a way. Yeah. There's really nothing better than doing than that. Yeah. Because if the longer you live, because you're healthy, the longer we have listeners and the longer we live, because then we can support ourselves to eat. It kind of like, you know. It's a beautiful cycle. It is. Enjoy. Thanks, care of. Back to the, the episode without you. I'm, I'm going to miss you, brother. I know. All right. So you have this pink, this pink guy behind us. We Let's hear about it. To the ultimate vehicle. Yes. This is our final. Yeah, yeah. We'll get, you'll get you on as well. Oh, we got double pinks. Yeah. What's, Damn, what, this boy ears was sweaty, boy. Oh, yeah. sorry about Were that. You, Damn, son. Sorry about you that. You must have been jealous. Wipe your ears, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you must be Holy jealous that he's got the pink mic cover. Oh, right. That is that's kind of like well, we don't have the trade, bro. <laughs> <laughs> pink is pimp. Oh, they're really going to swap. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. What are, well, what are, what are both your names? My name is Mike. Mike, and what's your name? My name is Troy. Uh, Troy, can you speak a little more to the mic, Troy? Yeah. My name is Troy. Okay, hey, Hello, Troy. Troy. Wait, what's Hello, your car, Mike. Troy? So I am the lifted Subaru in the Say. back. Oh, we saw you pull up recently. Oh, you no, 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 the, the, the lifted here. Subaru. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you have an Overland vehicle, and you've yeah. got an outer space vehicle. True so, story. Yeah. So he can go further than you, actually. Uh, absolutely. What is <laughs> it? Okay, he's going to go and look at the pink vehicle. <laughs> what is this? I can only see the back of it. Well, what, what would you describe this as? JD Mike right here. Uh, describe that as in American terms or Japanese terms. Oh, well, let's hear it in both. Yeah, let's I hear would it in both. say in Japan terms, it's just a style box. Mm. Okay. So basically, it's just a van that's just kind of just out of the world, bro. <laughs> I mean, the things that they the Japanese think about is just it, it blows my mind. Every time I go back to Japan, it's always something new. And can you see out of the back window there? I have a camera. If you look at the very okay, top, I there's see. a black camera. Okay. So without that camera, I wouldn't be able to parallel park or do pretty much anything <laughs> yeah that was that i had to make that happen because because you needed the the disney characters on the, the baby, back, the baby disney okay disney. i'm trying to get rid of that because, oh, because of the rumor, rumor i know the whole lgbtq <laughs> thing going on what does that have to do with the lgbtq because community? you know children and Rumors, oh, like you're saying. i'm trying to get it out bro <laughs> the gay community is like yeah. those are our baby disney yeah. characters those should be tr- yeah no 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 i'm not that it's crazy. cool i mean it's it, it was airbrushed back in the 90s so oh that was that's original yeah it's 100 wow. percent original and then you got that from japan yeah i bought the car from a buddy of mine out in japan oh it looked like that when you got it no no i dumped like 40 50 000 but the airbrush it. it looked like that he said it did look like that and then i got it painted but i was trying to preserve the back because i wasn't sure what i wanted to do and it's you know with that i had to find an airbrush artist to make it look legit but damn I'm going to probably end up wrapping the back with my company logo or oh, something. Okay. Yeah. What's your com- what's Literally your because of the culture wars, you're afraid people will like throw tomatoes No, I'm not really you? afraid of that. It's just I'm a grown-ass man with some <laughs> children on the back. <laughs> now, that's kind of weird, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a and pink van. And the way van. California is, it's just <laughs> I'm not going in that direction. It's, oh, a, pi- it's a pink van. And I'd rather also them see the advertisement of my business than some fucking, what's this guy doing here? It definitely does seem to be the kind of thing that you would round children you up see what into I'm saying? if you went through <laughs> yeah. a village. you know. Unless I was charging $5 a picture or something, by Disneyland, then it'd be different. But I'm not doing that right now. Uh, what's your business? Uh, I, it's called Yumi Imported. So oh, that's what this is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So this is my logo, and I import cars and motorcycles. Oh, and cool. From Japan. Just a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We have a fr- we have a friend who has a um, what the heck is it? The Je- the Doug's van. Oh, he's got a he's got a Mitsubishi. Hi uh, Ace. Hi Ace. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, mean sweet. this is the highest Mitsubishi Delica? That's what it is. Okay. He used yeah. to have off, a high Is it off road? It is, it is off-road. Four-wheel drive. Yes, yeah, yes. And that's kind of your world, huh? That yeah. is kind of my world, Do you yeah. take that thing out, or are you a poser? Are oh, you a no, fucking poser? I'm, actually, I'm following oh, it's dirty. up a trail. Mm. There is a whole... Um, there is a whole community, a culture now of getting a vehicle, making it look a lot like you camp in it, but just never taking it <laughs> oh, off the highway. 90% of the cars. But they're yeah. clean. Most yeah. of those they're cars are clean. Yeah. very nice. He got some dirt on that. Yeah, I, yeah, I just yeah. came back from a 2,500 mile road trip. Oh, that's gay. Either yeah. that or you pulled over under that underpass and were throwing <laughs> dirt on <laughs> it to make it think you were legit. Uh, what they don't know will hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. No, I actually I actually take it out. She's definitely not a pavement princess. Where did, Oh, that's what pavement I like princess. that. I like that. <laughs> in the 90s, that meant something different. Now, and by the way, people people who see this car, they think a pavement princess is driving it. Turns out it's actually this guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, hey, <laughs> you gotta get you gotta uh, get that thing off off the uh, like that all that Overlander stuff off because of the LGBTQ community. <laughs> <laughs> no, where was the twenty five hundred mile uh, trip to? Where'd you uh, go? So we did my family and I. We did a uh, just a loop around Oregon. Nothing, nothing oh, too crazy. I teach that very loop in my in my Overland yes, vehicle. Nice. Uh, were you in Central Oregon? Yeah. So we started in Bend. I, st- I was in Bend. <laughs> I was on display with my whole rig for Overland Expo PNW. Sick. And then from there, we just decided to go up to Astoria. 
and see all the Goonies Home stuff. Of the Goonies. My daughter, Beautiful. she was mm-hmm. super stoked on that. And then we just kind of followed the coast all the way down. Cool. Where does your daughter sleep in that? Is it you have a uh, rooftop so, tent? So we actually pull an Overland trailer as well. Uh-huh. That's got oh, like, it's like off road and everything. Stuff? Oh, you're yeah. kidding. Yeah, full out kitchen. That is so sick. The rooftop tent is a hard shell, so we can do four season camping in it. That's rad. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. So we're, we're going gonna, camping tomorrow. In our we're going vehicles. camping tomorrow. Well, yeah. actually, I'm not. My my my. I have a tiger. Do you know what a tiger is? Tiger, no. Tiger is a an uh, it's an old school, very rare um, kind of truck mod. They used to do Chevy Astro vans, but okay, now they yeah. do. Uh, big American um, uh, pickup trucks that they modify into campers, and they're okay. they're for off roading and, and oh, that's it's awesome. great. It's, it's not really a cool. pa- I am not a pavement prince. <laughs> no, no, you <laughs> take that thing out. Nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, really cool. Nice. Um, so. Great. Okay. Yeah. And your family appreciates this off road lifestyle and oh, camping yeah. and everything. They love it's, it, especially my daughter. That's cool. I mean, How we, old is she? She's 15. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So she's been doing it her whole life. Oh, whole life. That's yeah. so whole cool. Life. Yeah. Have you ever taken that thing overlanding? Is that? Um, yeah, I've actually uh, parked it out in the Huntington Beach. And, uh, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I should be skateboarding around it. You know. I mean, it causes it, it. definitely attracts people and females. Oh my oh, god, people Girls and females. Oh yeah, you got a microphone ties? in there. Yeah. You do like karaoke. I'm also glad that you just showed that women are not people. <laughs> oh, I know. I just put a blanket over the back, you know. Oh, you man. See the back. Have you have you in fact uh, made love in the back of the I have. vehicle? You must. I have. You must. Of I mean, course, you, you must. Yeah, there's black lights in there, so you can see. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, you can, can see, see the evidence. You can see. see. <laughs> yes. Now, is this come in, in, ja- in Japanese terms? Would you call this bukkake or <laughs> bukkake? <laughs> I'd call it. Uh, what, is, what is it? Uh, what's the mayo of Japanese? I forget what it's called. Kupi. Kupi. Kupi mayo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're a real pig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you go to Japan a lot? I do. A H- lot. How how often do you go? Probably three or four times a year. Oh, oh that's amazing. a lot. Oh, wow. Do you go solo or with friends or family? I go by or? myself. Damn. And do you yeah. pick up stuff for the for the business? Is that yeah? Why you yeah. Go out there? I, I honestly kind of like the picketer of Japan. I go there. I drive forty five hundred miles in a month and just just go everywhere and anywhere. You drive. You rent and a car and just drive. I have a car there. You have a car yeah, there. Yeah, you I have, have a car there. I have several vehicles there. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? What like else do you have? Well, I guess because you, you wow. import them. You have yeah, I have a I have a two acre lot with like thirty oh. or forty cars. Do you have a house there? I have a house in uh, Funabashi. Oh my god! Yeah, so it's it's set up, but it's for Airbnb. Like whenever I'm not there, that's great. You have someone, so I can make money it. while it's you know. Damn. I'm not you're, you're there, a businessman. Yeah. That's your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. And you, what you import cars? I import cars. I import parts, uh, motorcycles. I mean, even collectibles, dude. People were you in, were you involved in this K car that was parked here earlier? Do you know that one? Um, he's actually. I don't know if it's still my here. competition. Oh, so oh really? Oh, so interesting. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, interesting. we did. But we I'm got cool a bad with him. Vibe. We I got mean, a bad vibe from him, to be honest. <laughs> 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 did you really? No, 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 no. We're kidding. <laughs> no, he's a cool dude. You know, he he's just cool. We're all just trying to stick together. You know. So you go there and you source the cars yourself. I do. I also have a business partner there. So okay. if I if I find something or if he comes across something, like he came across this, and he's like, "Yo, you got to get it." And Damn. I'm like, how much? And then I told me he told me how much, and I just was like, "Let's get oh, wow. it." Wow. Yeah. I've been to Japan four times. I love it. Great country. Oh, it's amazing. I keep telling him to go. His I'm daughter going, wants to I'm go. Going this year. Yeah. Oh, I, you got to go, dude. Yeah. I got a question for you. Yeah. Anything scary ever happened to you out on the uh, like deep in in the in the bush? You ever had like a scary interaction with a person or an animal? No, nothing yet. We actually be, been pretty fortunate. Mm. Like we've never really had. I mean, for animals, I think the closest thing that's ever came to us is an elk, and mm. that was just recently Ooh. in Oregon because mm. we we're up on top of the mountains, nobody around for miles, mm. and the nice. like, sound just goes off. And it's like fifty feet away. My daughter. No like, reception what is that? on the phone. <laughs> S- same question, but in Japan. Yeah. Any scary people. <laughs> animals? Um, I haven't really went camping in Japan. <laughs> no, just in general though, on the streets. Um. Wait, what was the question again? Any, Any scary, 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 scary people or animals? I went to uh, Suicide Forest. That oh, place. Oh, is you went there. Dark, oh, scary. Oh man, it's just. That's as wild. soon as you go in that trail, like you get you goosebumps, right? Because you, you might get canceled for putting a video about. <laughs> but it's kind of it's kind of cool because if you do go there and you do, I mean, you could capture somebody like trying to do something. That's crazy. And you could save them, dude. What's scarier, Japanese right. ghosts or cancel culture? <laughs> something to think about, guys. Something Man. to think about. Yeah. Is yeah. there is there it's any both. is there people who go there to try to save people? Like people who yeah. go there to try. Oh like, yeah, there's organizations. Right, that, that makes oh. sense. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. They'll be there at night, like trying to find somebody to right. just try to help them. You know, give them second thoughts of like. Because like the 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 
the um, Golden Gate Bridge was like that, right? right. Where there'd be like groups, oh, or they, yeah. then they both put up like barriers. It's yeah, the whole we, thing. we think we're heroic with a suicide hotline. They got suicide explorers. <laughs> they got explorers. They got, <laughs> they got <laughs> camp suicide scouts. I'm a suicide you know? camper, meaning I stop people from. <laughs> 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 you should turn yeah. your overland vehicle into a suicide <laughs> prevention suicide vehicle. Prevention. Yeah. That's a good idea. You're just out in the deep Saving bush, just looking around. Does anybody here want to die? No. All right, I guess we're camping. Hop in, dude. I love Japan. I want to go back again this year. I went last November, right when they opened up. Oh, nice. After COVID, it was really cool to be there right when they opened. I'm sure you've been several times since, but but it was just it's just like I I mean I've been to a lot of countries, but it's just such a comfortable and lovely country to visit. It's like I want to go back and I want to like take friends. Like I'm dating someone right now and she's never been. Like I want to go back with her. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Your friends or what? Yeah, yeah. She got any friends? Uh, She's got yeah. She's got got a lot. She got a lot of friends. It's actually weird. She's got a lot of like extremely hot friends that are looking into modified vans. Like that turns (laughs) them on. Yeah, yeah. What? Weird. I don't know. What are the odds of that? Kind of on. Bro, tell them to add Uncle Mikey immediately. Uncle Mikey. Now nobody wants to say no to an Uncle Mikey. No one can say no. To an you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not to bring us back, but can you imagine being in the suicide forest and you're about to die and then Uncle Mikey comes up to you and talks you down and you're like, okay, okay, I'll live. And yeah. then he brings you and then you get into that vehicle. Yeah, and you're like, I think I am dead. That actually. would be dope. <laughs> he turns on the black light. That would be gangster. <laughs> He's like, wait, well, I let's did die. Go. I died in the forest? <laughs> <laughs> but I died. Okay. Am I still awake? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what 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 work do you do? What world are you in? So I'm actually the GM of this property. Oh, oh, oh you work here? Super yeah. dope. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Great. So this is this is our property that we have. We have all three buildings. We're doing a bunch of construction. That's going to be a new store, car storage, and then we do a bunch of events. Very oh, cool. cool. Have yeah. you ever thought about taking your vehicle like uh, out? Have you ever left the country with it like deep? Uh, no. Have you ever thought about doing that, like driving yes. to Argentina or something? We actually, I've been thinking about going to Norway. Oh, wow. Because I have a couple oh, of friends in Norway. Shipping it over there. And shipping it you over there. You ship your car over there? I haven't done it yet. But, but you would think, think about we're it. We're thinking about it. We're looking into the shipping. Like and like Uruguay or something. Like, yeah. Damn. Yeah. That's yeah. more his world, though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what I'm getting to in that yeah. sort of things. This, that's, his world's more than the sex tourism thing, but you're, I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you just doing, like, paperwork constantly for your job, for importing and exporting? Is that just, like, a nightmare? Um, yeah. Yeah, like how is it? Be. It's hard to get these cars because they're, right, they're like right hand drive and stuff. It's weird stuff, right? I mean, it's pretty repetitive. It's the same stuff for every yeah. vehicle. Um, what's the case? What's the use case for bringing them here? That you just can't get something like that here, and they allow it, or how does um, it work? I mean, you just got to follow the twenty-five year law. Okay. You know I mean, you can bring pretty much anything. Okay. Um, if it's over twenty-five years. If it's older, than, it has to be. Has to be older 25 than twenty-five years, years or older. Oh, you know? interesting. And then you don't have to go through all the rigmarole. You don't have to do all the explaining why the car's here, what you're doing with it. But if it's newer, it's really hard. We gonna have to talk about that off In- camera. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. You know, wow. wow. Oh, you got. You got how many? Yeah. How many cars do you have here? Right now, I currently own about 17 cars. So you have double the amount of cars in Japan yeah. that you have here. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So you own over 50 vehicles. Uh, yeah, I do. That's pretty wild. Yeah, I just, I mean, some of them are. That's for your sale. job, though. Your yeah. job is to buy. Some and of sell them, them are for sale. The ones in Japan are for sale. Right. But I do have a little collection here. Wait, the 17 you have here are not for sale? They're not for sale. Can you name them? Oh my God! I got Chaser. I got a couple hundred. Uh, sounds like you're Skylines. talking about your kids. <laughs> I got little Skyler. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> kids that you kidnapped from the beach. <laughs> I'd have to look at my list, but yeah, I mean, I got some cool. I got some cool shit. That's cool. Yeah. That's great. And you? I also rent out cars too. Oh, oh you rent like oh, cool, cool weird. Cars? Yeah, like like little. If you see that Honda Beat outside, mm-hmm. the little yellow one, I yeah. have like little tour that I'm starting. Like, you can drive them up to the mountains by my house, and mm. it's a pretty cool little, oh, little cool. experience. Great. Yeah. And then you, you shove them off at the top and they never seen or heard from again. Never. Only yeah. if the insurance claim is really high, then <laughs> maybe we can do that. What's your daily what's your daily driver? My daily driver is actually a Range Rover. Okay. Yeah, two thousand. So you like a bigger car still? Range Rover, yeah. yeah. We well, yeah, I have a friend who had like a really amazing like um uh, vehicle like a camper vehicle, like a sprinter that's like really expensive and nice. So she rented it out on Turo. They straight up Drove it to Mexico cartel, and she never serious? saw it again. No, no way! Really? Yeah, she's still dealing with it. It's but you know, like you, have, really you have insurance through Toro, so I, they would. It's cover a whole it. thing. It's like it's. Tur- I don't know. It's turned into a whole thing. It's like a nightmare. That's she's scary, like, bro. it's like crazy. Yeah, they, they like to, they went to Mexico. They ripped. They the really Jeep. were on Toro. Yeah, yeah. They, <laughs> yeah. Guys, that's not a great joke, but it's a joke that she's, I think she needs straight to be up saw it. She's like, they stopped responding to her messages immediately. She just saw it go south further, further south because she had GPS on it, and then it went to like the the like true like. 
like cartel area in Mexico, Damn. and then the GPS got ripped out, and then never nothing else. Wow. Like brand new hundred fifty thousand dollars Sprinter. Oh, yeah. that's, that's I've, I've heard too. a few stories that it's we crazy. we also have a built out van, and we rented on outdoorsy. We've heard maybe stories. that's what she did. I don't and know. What we just pulled it. We're like, you know what? It's just not mm, worth it. That's not it's worth crazy. it. Do a little bit more paperwork than just falling into an app for right exactly thousand dollar car. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, I think it's been a total nightmare. For like her. I need three references. Do they live close? Right. Yeah. You know I mean? Right. Are they in the cartel? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, would you say you're affiliated with any uh, huge uh, criminal like, you cartel know, organizations? You know, dude. You got to know if someone's... Uh, I you know. know. Well, no, I'm sure that they... If it's a well Maybe they had machine, someone else do it. Yeah, they yeah, send some nice little person to come, some yeah. little mom. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to so give you $10,000 to go so so take care of this. I'm going yeah. to Yosemite for the weekend. It's <laughs> crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now, that's a business we should start. We yeah. should, you have a... This is perfect, actually. You seem like maybe a criminal. You have a, 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 a warehouse I mean. where vehicles go. We put some vehicle. You, ha, you we put these vehicles. We start a Turo. We rent them out. We bring them here. We strip them. Take the. G- we could become the cartel. I'm a criminal. <laughs> Fool, you just laid it out. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? This boy knows more. You from the Bronx, huh? It's not his first rodeo. The Bronx got crooked teeth, and they crooked like a mop. I'm out here trying to tell, tell a sob story for my friend, and you're figuring out how to do yeah, more like, of that. How can I monetize this? This fool does <laughs> thought about this for 15 <laughs> seconds, bro. Ain't no plan in place. He is the plan, bro. <laughs> Well, shit. We appreciate both of you sitting down. Your final yeah. guest for the day it was really fantastic. Um, we're so happy you and your family love to go camping. That's really cool. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, what what's a great business. Of, yeah, what are the names so of businesses? Yeah, what, how, what's it called? It's called Yumi so, Imported. So Y U M E. If anyone's looking for something from Japan, you're the you're the guy. Hit me up. We do containers. We do row row. I mean, whatever. What's row row? Row row is a roll on roll off vessel. Okay. So if it doesn't go in the container, we can just uh, put it on the boat. Row row. Yeah. That's I'm cool. looking for a blah by. If you a blah by. What is that? It's like a early mid 2000s WRX STI. Ooh. From from Japan. Yeah. Oh, interesting. There's a lot of cool Subarus out there. Yeah. That's Holler the thing about me. Japanese vehicles. They they won't let them go over a certain amount of mileage, so you can yep. get like a really cherry thing. Right, 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 yeah. right. I mean, they do let them go over a certain mileage, but you have to pay extra tax to view, mm-hmm. to actually you know drive the car. Oh, that's true. At a certain point, at a, yeah. certain, well, a lot of the vehicles oh. you see you have options for sale in this country are very low mileage, but they're yeah. very old, and you're like, why? It's because at a certain you know yep. obviously more 100%. than hundred percent. Yeah. Because what? Because at a certain point, they're supposed to get rid of them. Basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. 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 Change the engine or get rid of the car. Why? Just wow. for safety, they have it like. Well, no, it's just because of the smog. They want to keep it under a certain... Oh, smog goes up like, as you... Yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Because there's a lot of vehicles So after there. a certain right, time, right. you either have to change the engine yeah. or just sell the car. Or sell the or car. Or sell it to a country that and doesn't the government care about will the give you. The government will give you a grant to buy a new vehicle. Yeah. We have more air here, so yeah. we're good. <laughs> Moshe, Moshe has a similar thing with his wife, right? At, at, a, cer- at a certain age, you're like... You I get rid of her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you know my wife. Why would you say that? This was out. Look, that'll get cut. I was just trying to Keep it in. Keep it in. To We're going to send it to her because she's I actually love your a friend wife. of yours. Hey, you I ain't coming over wife. for barbecues no more, player. <laughs> 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 just trying to think of an analogous situation. Uh, cool. Hey. Thanks a lot, you guys. This is hey, so fantastic. Thank you so much, yeah. man. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Good thank vibes. You guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see, see, awesome. you on the road. see you get a dollar and a sticker. I want to. Uh, we're we're gonna wrap it up, and then I want to come see your thing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. Thanks, yeah, guys. Thanks, yeah. Yeah. My van, not my. No, no. Yeah, I, see your van. <laughs> I assume once <laughs> you walk into the van, your thing is your on thing full is display. Right? Might be different. I don't careful, know. buddy. Careful. <laughs> the black light is on. You're like, is that your thing? Nope. That's your thing. Whoa. That's it right there, pal. Cool. See you guys. Thanks again. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Bye bye. This is so cool that this is my new career. I know. it's really but You've really just blossomed, and it seems like this is the future that you're going to be living. Um, Cole's still going to take half the money, mm, yeah. but you can still host. I don't do this for the money. Okay, man. great. You're in it for the, the, the game. For passion. For passion. You know what? I learned a lot about cars. Um, all these people were super nice. Everybody was cool. Car people are cool. It's, I think when you get someone talking about something they're clearly so passionate about, they, it brings out the best in them. Well, what also was cool about it was that they're all passionate in the same way, but about very different things. Thank you and for having us. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, sorry. Say it again. Like, Sean's really passionate about, like, awkward plugs of his, like, Instagram <laughs> and stuff. And, like, there we go. Cars in the wild. It's bigger than Instagram. But um, thank you, guys. I just want to say thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us, Sean. It was a blast. Thank you, pleasure. Andrew. Yeah. Thank you, Moshe. I yeah. really appreciate you guys coming Everyone out. Everyone was so great. Did, did people have good reviews as they left the, the table? they have fun? Yes, definitely. Okay. We're going to give you a dollar and a sticker. Big pause there. Yeah. I think we did. Uh, we don't, I don't think we gave a you a dollar and a sticker. Yeah. But here's I, uh, what I was saying was what's cool about it is like there was Porsche enthusiasts and like weird van enthusiasts and camping enthusiasts and lowrider enthusiasts. It was like yeah. it's all the same passion in very different paths. Yes. I think that's really kind of It was neat. like a melting pot. You wouldn't get this at just a Porsche meetup or something. So yeah. what I have done 
is speak to whoever, you know what I mean, catches my eye, catches my interest, you know what I mean, just follow my intuition as far as where that leads me. And then um, that's, you know what I mean, this is the, I guess you could say the uh, manifestation of that. Right, all those people coming together. It's right, cool yeah. that you created this. It's great, man. Congratulations. You. Hope and, you get to do more events. Um, yeah, in Los Angeles, there's a very diverse uh, culture of different people. Yes. Within the automotive community and just within the... In general, yeah. Yeah, the population in general. Um, so you, this is just a reflection of that. Thank we you, guys. Lovely. We're happy to have showcased part of it. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thanks guys, for having for us. Out. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, That was a blast. We love it. Go check out you know, Cars in the Wild and... Next time you see someone driving a car, ask them about it. Any no matter car. what car it no is. No matter what car. If it's a Volkswagen. Yeah, just ask if it's stock. Corrado. Corrado, you just pull them over and go, poor man's poor. You can't see very many of those because they made very few. And I sold mine. Thank you all so much for watching this thing. Endless Honeymoon Podcast. Go check it out. Oh, yeah. And I'll Go see you guys all next week oh, you're on sure. another episode of Podcast But Outside. He won't be my here. My podcast. Go see him live, though. But, yeah, come see me live. I'll be in San we'll, Francisco. We'll plug that in the video. Yeah, beginnings. all that stuff. Yeah. You know, come see me. Yeah. Find him online. See you guys. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> in memory of me. Wow. 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 Goodbye, Cole. Hello, Cole. Hello. What do you think about all those cars? Those were cool. I would say I would say those are maybe the best things about the episode. Oh, okay. The pink one? You like with the stuff? The yeah, pink? I like the pink car, the pink van as well as everything that that guy stood for. Did you, did you like Moshe? Did he do a good job? Um Oh, I forgot he was there. Really? He was yeah. a pretty big presence. He's kind of a charismatic, talkative guy. Oh, yeah. I I didn't really notice. Huh. Did you notice me? Yeah, you were there. Okay. Did you say, did you talk? Yeah, I, I oh, tried okay. to. Yeah. Yeah. I saw it on mute, so. Uh, oh, that might be a big part. Yeah. Um, if you guys watched it on mute as well, watch the whole thing with sound. Hmm. Tell a friend about the show. Rate and review us on Apple Podcasts. That helps. Rate and review me. Yeah, just say something about Cole on there. Thanks. We're recording this a little early. Cole's going to visit home tomorrow, but then he'll be back by the time this comes out. That's right. I'm a, so technically, I'm about to be in Ohio That's tomorrow right. morning. Wow. By this but time, by this comes out, you'll already have been I've there. already been back in L.A. My sinuses are all crazy. I had balloon sinusplasty yesterday. Crazy procedure. I had a weird surgery. Uh, I'm still pretty sick all the time, and I'm still trying to figure out why, and I'm trying to get better. And maybe that'll be the answer, but probably not. But if you could fix me... Please let me know, because it's been a year, and I'd love to be better. I don't need any fixing. I'm perfect the way I am. Actually, if you've ever had any experience with long COVID, let me know. Oh, yeah. I did a long COVID test, and I tested positive for all these immune markers, inflammation stuff for long COVID. I don't quite know what it means. I'm waiting to talk to my doctor about it. But if you had long COVID and you got better by all these crazy things, let me know, because I'd love to um, leave my house and be alive and not be sick all the time rock on rock on it'll all be good it'll all be dude, good dude look at that tree whoa oh you can't zoom in you can't zoom in if, imagine if we could enjoy the enjoy the rest of your life we'll see you soon see you soon bye bye podcast but outside podcast but outside it's outside it definitely attracts people and females.